Now then. Right. Well, here we are at Easter time again. Usually it's back to winter. And uh, a few people suggested when I was doing my links in my chain, out of copper wire, a few people suggested that I ch make chain mail. Oh, no chance, right? Anyway, yesterday, it, as I say, we're stuck in our winter, back when the fire did, I need something to do. Last night, my mate brought me this wire, this thick copper wire. I've got some more there, look, big roll there as well. So, but look at this, I've got uh, quite a lot of this thick, heavy cable. Right, so last night I thought I'll just see if I can strip it. Come on, what a job. Anyway, I managed to do it. It's got all this steel wire braiding around the outside. So I cut through the casing and cut it in bits. Then I got that off. Then I had to slice down the next layer. And then to do these bits, I found the best way was just to get a strand and put it in the vise and pull it with the mould grips on it, you know. So, we've got this stripped already, that'll make, I think we've got enough for a few links there, haven't we? Let alone all that, so, we're not sure of stuff to go up. Anyway, I thought, well, you know, winding it was the hard bit, and so I thought, well, I've got to make the links, and I've got to do it easily. Now, these links will not be, there's, there's several things, it's a big compromise, but, by the way, remember chain mail? It became redundant when they invented guns, didn't they? So, you know, it's only ornamental. Anyway, what we're doing, I've actually been and got that bit of dowel in. I wanted 3 8, really, it's half inch, but it doesn't matter. It'll make it a little bit space, but it'll work. <clears throat> Good, mate. So, what we're doing, just a very quick little jig, right? And that goes through that end like that and I've done it in half length so that will go through there I'll drill a hole in there obviously and then I can put my drill on put a hole in here and run the wire along and then getting my angle grinder with this thin disc on if I put a straight edge that'll do just screw that along the top in the middle as a straight edge I can then just whiz along it with the, with the grinder and cut the links off. Like I say, you know, unlike the chain links, it, they don't have to be as good, do they? We're only doing it for something to do an ornamental. Anyway, just before we really get going, uh, I have something to show you. Now the first thing is my aluminium nameplate. And I don't know if I'm far enough back for you to see that, or if you can very well, it's a little bit difficult to show actually somehow but it it shines the back's nice and level i've had to just clean a couple up and there's a couple of marks but that'll suit that'll go on my tractor box won't it that'll suit so that's one thing and the other thing is just have a look at this look at my nice tidy yard many of you will never seen this before because it's the first time i've done it since i started my steam engine you know year last autumn so We've had a bit of a tidy up, dug me a little bit of garden, you know, first time for a few years. Right, if you can see, I'll put the bird feed out and there's a blackbird having a feed there in the distance. So there we go. Right, I'll get on and when I've something to show you, I will. Well, I wound one end on and it went to there, so I've drilled another hole in there and started again. Seems to go better this way, so I'll just... Uh, Put it down here. Oh, there. Right. You should be able to see a little bit, a bit far away, but you've just got to be very gentle on the trigger. If it goes too fast. You can keep it like that. It's actually working. Coming sight easier than winding it around, I can tell you that much. There you are, look, made a tidy job of that side. That one, worked my first time, but I was going the wrong way, I suppose. Anyway, 
we'll see what we get. I'll nip them off. Oh, that actually worked quite well. And uh, as you can see, now, like I said, you know, it's only ornamental thing we're doing, isn't it? For something for a bit of fun. And the links are actually too big. Um, so they'll overlap too much, but it means I can get on better. You know, like I told you, I won't put up, no intention of doing this, but a few suggested it and someone brought me some wire and we're stuck in so we'll have a go anyway i've got a few off look and as you can see they've not come too bad and because this wire has been twisted it's got a wire but it's it's quite thick you know quite tough rather it's work hard and so we'll leave it like that it'll be strong enough and you just put four together but when they overlap i can sort of I'll show you later, but uh, when they overlap, as they do, like that, you'll see there's going to be a bit of a gap in the bigger gap in the middle of the rings, but we're not bothered about that. It means we can get on quicker, doesn't it? Right, I'll make some more, I'll get a bit done, and then I'll show you. Now, I don't know how much of it you can see, I'll show you a bit closer, but... Uh, Right, but a bit, a bit of a job. I got a bit done. Try and show you that little bit. See, got a little bit done. How he said, but I've had a, I've had a problem. Because what I say to do, as I say, there's instructional videos. You know, we don't have to. I've had several goes at this, and it didn't work out. So what you do, you make. A ring with it pointing away from you that looks sorry about turning the camera inside but it doesn't matter that looks a bit like um, well it reminds me of the Olympic thing doesn't it so you make two like that and then putting them together with these on the top and this is where it becomes fiddly get those on the top of those like that these two, you've got to keep your eye on which ones you're using. And then I'm not going to show you doing it because it's, it's almost impossible. But you get the idea anyway. And then you just put a link through there. So you go in through there and up through there. And that's what you get when you're finished. But for some reason, I would take one off the bottom because that was the wrong way around. But whether it's because I'm using bigger links or because I did it wrong, I don't know. Anyway, the success of it is, look, I've got plenty of rings done in a very short time. Very short space of time. I mean, I was only two hours, including making the jig and everything to do it. So that bit's worked well. Anyway, we'll see what we do. It won't actually be chain mail, will it? But uh, eventually which you may or may not never get to see it depends when I get bored because it's a tedious job of course um, it's in some ways it's quicker I'm doing big links so it's quicker than that so I think what we might end up with is just a mat you know it's not actually chain mail isn't it but it might be just a mat made out of copper links which um, I can use a display mat or something no doubt so as I say sometime ever you may get to see a bit more right anyway i hope you've enjoyed that little diversion today like i say it's uh, you can see it's still not very pleasant outside so at least we've got something to do for the weekend you know that's all it's about isn't it right we'll see you again soon have fun.